And indeed, several polls now show the presidential race narrower than at the end of last week. The Bush campaign, meanwhile, radiates confidence. So who's right? Sometimes you can tell by looking at where the candidates are going to see who's trying to shore up his base, who's trying to expand his. For more on the state of this race, we turn to the man who knows more about more states, who's been to every congressional district in America, the one and only Michael Barone, senior writer at U.S. News Report, uh, U.S. News and World Report, and co-author of the Almanac of American Politics. Welcome. It's always nice to be with you, Brett. How do you see this? Well, uh, is there an uptick or a tightening? I mean, if you want to take a look at the national polls, I think you could say that Al Gore may have gained a point. That's really more precision than national well, polls give you in the plus or minus area. Battleground, battleground, that's the uh, go as Celinda Lake uh, bipartisan um, Which poll. was one of the two polls that was closest uh, at the end to the 1996 result. Uh, Reuters, show, MSNBC, that's Zogby. He was close in 96. He was too. one of the other two that was close. Those races both show Bush, one with a bigger margin than the other. Uh, CNN Gallup, that's been all over the lot, Brett. A few days ago, they had Bush up by uh, nine or ten points. Right. Now they're showing down. Uh, I think that, that the wobble on that poll has been so big that one wants to take it with several grains of salt. Uh, it is the first one in a while to show an Al Gore lead, obviously not significant at one point. Uh, ABC were running even. Rasmussen, uh, which, who conducts his polls by uh, uh, yeah, automated, automated, phone, automated phone things. I mean, if you average all those together, you come out with George W. Bush 45, Al Gore at 43. Uh, I think that reflects roughly where most people think the race is. If you eliminate the outliers, you probably have a little bit better uh, margin for, uh, for, for uh, now, George all, W. Bush. Now, as everybody knows, these things are done, obviously, the race is tallied on a state-by-state -state basis to, to get the majority of the Electoral College. What do you see that's noteworthy out in, these, in the states? Well, what we've seen in a number of states is states that were thought to be solidly Democratic, either on the basis of performance in 92, 96, or because they went for Michael Dukakis in 1988, uh, seem to have been tightening up. And I think one major example here, the state of California, Public Policy Institute of California, a nonpartisan group, came out with a poll showing at 44 for Gore, 39% uh, for George W. Bush. That's Gore down four points since their most, their, their most recent poll in the same outfit, Bush even. It doesn't show great Bush strength, but it's got the Gore people nervous. Gary South is the chief political operative for Governor Gray Davis, Democrat. Right. He uh, gave a public speech where he said the Gore campaign better get in here, they better spend more money, they better do more things. Uh, the Gore campaign so far hasn't put more money into California. They're evidently trying to save it for other places like Tennessee, where Gal Gore's home state, where they just doubled uh, their spending. Obviously not a sign that they think they're in great strength in Tennessee. Uh, but that California leads to the tantalizing possibility that that state might be in play. Also, there are five House seats, four held down by Republicans, that are seriously contested in California. The Bush campaign has been putting money in there something like $8 million over a period of the last several weeks. Uh, that seems to be paying off for them, at least tactically. Hmm. Now, let's look at some of these other states. Um, there's been considerable interest in um, states like Wisconsin, which that ought to be a Gore state. Well, Wisconsin has the old progressive party tradition of Robert La Follette. It was for Dukakis in 88, for Bill Clinton in 1992, for Bill Clinton in 1996. Public Policy Institute of Wisconsin has got a public poll out 49-40. Yeah. Now, I think the Bush and the Gore campaigns would both argue that there's not that big a margin, but there does seem to be evidence that George W. Bush may carry this. And Britt, is, that I the, is that the Nader vote that's hurting Gore in there? Uh, well, the Nader vote, but you got 89 percent in that already. I think what's hurting him most, and you can see this in some of these northern tier states with the North Country vote. You can see it in some of the mountain states where the ancestral Democratic, the rural counties, one of the areas where the Democratic Party's lost strength, Republican Party has gained during the Clinton-Gore-Perot years, has been uh, these very rural counties where the Democratic liberal agenda on cultural issues, which works for the Democrats in places like Los Angeles suburbs and New Jersey suburbs, works against the Democrats. In the, in the north country of Wisconsin, that is historically a Democratic area. It was for La Follette. It supports uh, Congressman Dave Obie the former chairman, now ranking member of the Appropriations Committee, one of the most talented and dedicated liberal Democrats in the House of Representatives, represents that area. But it appears that some of that area, the Democrats aren't getting their votes there. And I think it's some of the cultural issues, the general tone of the Gord campaign, the gun control, gun control issue, which yeah, everybody, hunters, I guess. Every, so many people in the press thought that uh, this was going to be an issue that was going to work for the Democrats across the country. I dare say in northern Wisconsin, northern Michigan, northern Minnesota, all states where Bush has shown a lead in states that used to be carried by the Democrats, that issue is working for the let's Republicans. Take a, let's take a look at Michigan, which has been sort of con considered kind of yeah. the battleground of battlegrounds. You got a 
interesting result there. Well, I think that's right. When you start looking at a race where you're talking about the poll margins coming in a difference of tenths of one percent, where the error margins plus or minus four percent, Michigan is really seriously contested. Governor John Engler, is, uh, the Republican governor, has gone on the war path in the last couple of days talking about automotive issues. The Detroit News and editorializing in support of George W. Bush mentioned, you know, he said they took the passages from Al Gore's Earth in the Balance, where he talks about zeroing out the internal combustion engine and so forth, and said this would be disastrous for the economy of the state of Michigan. Drew distinction between Clinton and Gore, saying Clinton is not as extreme as this, and Gore would be. Uh, you know, this is a state where. Uh, George, uh, where Bill Clinton ran three points above national average in 1996. He had some additional strength there that he didn't have in the rest of the country. Al Gore has been, struck, has been holding on to very narrow leads. This looks very close now. The Republicans believe they're ahead. I think the Democrats believe they're ahead. Uh, no, he is a tie. It's, it, it, it's as much of a tie as we can see. And in the three elections before 1996, 84, 88, and 92, Michigan was right with the national average on each of the Now, uh, finally, candidates. one state that certainly appeared out of reach for quite a long time from Mr. Mr. Bush was Pennsylvania. It was a double-digit lead for Gord, persisted for weeks and weeks. What's happened there? Uh, what's happened there is that we're looking at, uh, uh, this is a poll by Public Opinion Strategies. Should be noted that's a Republican polling firm. It's a reputable firm, uh, but they're not likely to release their results if they favor the Democrat at this right. stage. Uh, they show a 45-43 edge for, uh, for George W. Bush. Other polls have showed roughly even or a two-point gore edge if we go back a couple of weeks. Uh, this, again, is another seriously contested race. And, uh, interesting. It's one of those issues where it's one of those states where abortion and gun control, which the Democrats thought were going to be such great issues for them nationally, probably work against them in the state of Pennsylvania. I mean, both parties, Senate candidates in Pennsylvania, are against abortion uh, in in most cases and circumstances. And this is a state also where you've got the I think the nation's largest or second largest number of hunters. And so Pennsylvania helps to explain why we saw Al Gore in the second and third debates saying plaintively he's not going to take guns away from hunters. Right, right, he's right. thinking Pennsylvania and Michigan on this. Is it your sense, Michael, that there is at this mo moment no clear drift or direction in this race? I th this, race this race basically over the last week seems to have stayed about even and in the same range it was between April and July with Bush ahead by several points. All right. Michael Barone, great to have you. Thanks very much. We have to take a quick break for some news headlines, but when we return, find out why Senator Joseph Lieberman is in trouble, and how much trouble, with some Jews. We'll be right